Hello there, I'm the Beast Manager and welcome back to Factory Town. Now, today we are finally going to go to the level 5 tech level and uh, get all the goodies that it has to offer us. So uh, let's start with that. Let's unlock this. We finally get available to us the deep mining uh, and we also get available to us a few other things that are not showing up. But let's take a look at the research tree. Uh, one of the things that I am ultra excited about is this. We need steam engines for that. And steam locomotive for that. I really want to get into steam locomotives and rail freight carts. And the reason for that, my friends, is... Uh, we are on the verge of creating our first massive uh, forge area. Right? We have this forge area over here, which has been very helpful so far. It has created a bunch of stuff that we need uh, for building and uh, to sell to get a few red coins, but we need to um, do some, uh, shall we say, uh, mass production, right? And so the objective would be to create a forge area somewhere around here, given that this terrain is extremely flat. Just take a look at this. All of it flat. We don't have to... Um, spend a lot of red coins. So, let's start by purchasing a few extra properties. Oh, beautiful. We have a bunch of iron over there. That's just fantastic. Let's buy that one, buy that one, and buy that. What? Okay. Okay. What? Game? Uh, are you... Uh, I... Okay. Uh, sure. What happens if I do... I do, I do this. Hmm, okay, it can... It, disregard that, okay? We fixed it. We fixed it. The game is fine. No need to worry about it. But uh, just take a look at this ginormous area. All of it flat. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, we have a small problem, which is we have a bunch of resources in our way, which are going to be quite useful. Now, we can get rid of these earth stones. We have plenty of them over here, but uh, these uh, water stones and these fire stones... Kinda useful. Kinda useful indeed. I don't think we have more of them anywhere, do we? Nope. Nope. The answer would be a resounding no, and I need to uh, reduce the uh, thingy again. There we go. A uh, game. Game. Okay. If the uh, the ocean uh, uh, goes all away, we know uh, where it went. Uh, I, uh, I, 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 I don't think you process the uh, world gen very well, uh, but f okay, whatever. Let, let's pretend, guys, okay? Let's just not look that way, uh, otherwise my brain is going to... Uh, uh. What was w what were we talking about? Oh yeah, massive forge area. Yeah, that's right, my friends. That's right. Um, we want steam locomotives. Why? So pretty much, if we have a massive forge area over here, we can just collect resources from all over the world and bring them via boat, train, and other means to our forge area to be processed. Uh, so yeah, let's see. What do we need? We need the steam thingy. The steam engine research, yep, it's it's done. And now, can we get that one? We need 200 points, we have those, and to get the, the deep mi- <gasps> Holy, but Jesus, that's a lot. Okay, industrial tomb level, 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 level 2, okay. Okay, that might be a priority. But in any case, what do you need? You need steam locomotives to be unlocked. Um, let's let's get this one rolling, shall we? Uh, otherwise, I'm going to be sitting in here for three hours waiting for those points. All right, my friends. So, in order to make level two tomb knowledge, we need uh, a level one um, knowledge tomb, a wheel, and two pipes. Luckily for us, we have both the pipes and the wheels over here. You are working slowly because those wheels take uh, a little bit of time. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, by the way, how long do you take? Uh, you are going to consume all the wheels. If I just have one, uh, two, one... Uh, I could add a steam booster over here. That would increase uh, that significantly. But uh, in any case, I'll take care of that later. Let's get those tomb knowledge level uh, 2. So first, let's... Uh, let's stop uh, providing uh, these level 1s. Let's accumulate them. 
Uh, let's build another one of you somewhere around here, right? And then all we need to do is bring these two outputs uh, over there and then, you know, send the uh, tombs uh, via this uh, conveyor belt over here. Alright, my friends, so in order to keep things convenient for us, let's do things the following way. We bring wheels this way and we bring the pipes... Uh, wrong, stop. I messed up something. There we go. Much better now. So, as we were saying, we bring the pipes this way, right? The tombs level 1 like this. And then we uh, create 1, 2, 3. Somewhere around here. Uh, let's see if I can connect them straight. Oh, yeah. Yes, I can. Fan freaking fantastic. You remove this. And now we should have level 2 tombs being produced. These take uh, 8 uh, seconds, this one takes 6 seconds, so we should accumulate a few, um, uh, a few uh, level 1 tombs, but um, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. The extra time compensates by the fact that each one of these gives us 50 points, so um, we'll be good. Now it's just a matter of um, uh, steam boosting this one, uh, the other ones we might not need to do that, but this one we need to steam boost. Otherwise we are going to run out of wheels, and without wheels we can't apply other steam boosts to uh, other buildings. And there we go. I added the uh, connection to the other uh, machine shops, even though we don't uh, steam boost them. Uh, but we might want to do that in the future, and that way is already done. Uh, are, we, are we still producing enough steam, good sir? I think so. I think we are. Cool, cool. So now we are producing uh, wheels much quicker than we are consuming, which means we should continue accumulating wheels. In fact, I'm even going to upgrade the barn because those things are going to be important. I'm also going to upgrade you and upgrade you. There we go. Cool. So now, uh, well, we are still going to wait a billion years, but uh, it's it's 50 times less than we, <laughs> we would have to wait uh, otherwise, so... No, I stand corrected. It's ten times less because uh, the industrial tomb no uh, level, uh, the industrial industrial knowledge tombs level two only give ten points instead of uh, one point like the uh, other tomb. But uh, in any case, it's still going to take a little bit of time. So, in order for us not to have to wait, in this case, in order for me not to have to wait uh, so long, I'm going to have uh, two of these laboratories producing uh, tombs uh, level 1, right? We use a splitter over here, like so, to input the books. Uh, like I said previously, in other episodes, if we have the splitter like this, it is going to input the books to the... Uh... Could you please? I I'm trying to set an example here. Thank you. <sighs> if you have the splitter like this, it's going to input the books to uh, this conveyor belt over here, and we don't want that. That would be terrible. So, um, in order to avoid that, we put the splitter like this. Now that we have uh, two laboratories producing uh, these books, we can uh, redesign this to have two laboratories produce level 2 tomb uh, knowledge tombs to speed up the research project. And here we go, my friends. So now we have two laboratories working on those uh, tomb level 2s, right? Uh, I had to uh, move things around a little bit uh, in order to uh, be able to do that. But as we can see, now we are just missing the pipes because I had to redo the belt, so the pipes were missing, but now they are being inputted. And, uh, well, we have doubled the uh, knowledge tomb production, so uh, at least that way we are able to... Uh, uh, minimize our waiting time a little bit. But well, my friends, while we are waiting, I'm just going to add a couple of houses over here. Uh, we don't need to use all of our uh, house capacity, so just a few to increase our worker capacity so that uh, I can finally start working on that uh, industrial area over here. Let's just go into our research and see if there is anything that might help us. We have the locomotives, but... Uh, we can wait a little bit for that. Oh, we can start using coin boosters now. Cool. And uh, we can unlock the uh, boating thingies. Let's just do that. And see how much uh, does it cost to make cargo ship. It costs uh, nature research points, which we don't yet have. Uh, but we can take care of that later. Massive forge area first. Oh, my friends, there is one thing missing from, uh, from the research tech tree. 
and for uh, in, in our barns for us to use, which is the metal conveyor belts. I don't like using the uh, regular ones. Uh, let's use metal conveyor belts, especially because in here, as we can see, we have um, iron plates being accumulated but not distributed uh, to the machine to the machine shops, for example, because it takes a long time for for them to get there. They uh, never back. Uh, backlog on the belt because the belt is so slow, so how about we take care of that? I think I'm going to buy this property and this property right there. We found all the stone in the world. Okay, that's that's okay, I suppose. In any case, in any case, um, like I said, we are going to... Uh, oh, oops, that's not what I meant. But uh, in any case, like uh, I was saying, how about, now that we have unlocked that, we need two spaces. Uh, perspective in this game is a tad bit difficult, but I think this is the place. Right, right, perfect. So what are we going to do? We are, doing, we are going to do precisely the same setup that we have for our rails over here. We have two recipes for metal conveyor belts. We can either use four plates, which is, nope, not happening, or convert a cloth conveyor belt into a metal conveyor belt, which I think is going to be the recipe that we are going to use. Uh, so, like I said, we are going to do precisely the same thing that we are doing for rails. We are going to ask a caravan to come all the way over here, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up that. We are still need to create a path, that's okay, and drop them off over there. And uh, let's just create a path for the caravan to reach that location. Oh wait, we need another thing. We need gears. I didn't even notice that. I was about to say, and here we go, but uh, no, <laughs> we are going nowhere. We need those gears. Okay, 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 that's fine, that's fine game, that's fine. How do I create gears, by the way? Could you please tell me? Oh, dum dum, uh, gears are created in the machine shop. I'm not particularly proud of this setup, but uh, I... <laughs> I failed to realize we needed gears, so uh, this one over here is going to produce the gears, is going to burn the gears over here, then we're going to send them back into this machine shop uh, to turn them into fast belts. The first upgrade that I'm going to do is this line over here. I want to upgrade this one to fast belts ASAP. Uh, so yeah, once we have enough belts to upgrade this, trust me, I will upgrade this. Well, I was busy doing these things, guys, and I didn't even realize we already have the research ready. It's so nice. I'm so happy. So happy. Not you. Not you. You as well. I want you, but not yet. This is what we need. This is what we desperately, desperately need. Mine shafts. Okay? Mine shafts, if I recall correctly, costs... Uh, before I see, let me see if I can recall. Pickaxes and uh, reinforced planks. Now let's take a look if I was correct. Mineshaft costs... Okay, it costs a rail as well. Okay, but uh, pickaxes, rails, and uh, shafts, right? So, how do we do this? All you have to do is create a, a tunnel, right? That connects these... Uh, squ uh, not squares, dummy. These circles to these grayed out uh, nodes. As you can see, they uh, light, light up the second we have a... Uh, um, a tunnel nearby. Also, they uh, can touch the... Um, uh, node right next to it, which means, like for example, for these two nodes, these uh, nodes over here, all we need to do is create a, a tunnel like this, right? And for those nodes over there, a tunnel like this, and uh, this is going to... Oh, I also need to connect this mine as well. So now these, both of these mines have access to these uh, iron ore resources. Do you need pickaxes to uh, grind them though? I don't think so, I'm pretty sure they don't. Um, I believe the pickaxes are for the renewability factor. As you can see, uh, iron or deposit will heal 50 uh, resources. However, you can have a, f a plus 400% healed uh, when they respawn if you give them pickaxes. I think that's the case. Okay, it took me a while, but I finally upgraded this belt over here to uh, metal conveyor belts. I also added another... Uh, belt over here. This one is just to resupply the end of the uh, supply chain because uh, when we get over here there is usually a low amount of iron, shall we say. Although this one is starting to accumulate. Hmm. Okay, we also are accumulating wheels as you can see. So um, maybe this thing was unnecessary. I was just impatient, right? I didn't want um, to wait for everything to back up uh, to start... 
I didn't want everything to stop, right, because the storages are full, uh, in order to have the lines back up. I like, uh, you know, I like to have my production flow uh, a little better, if at all possible. And we have a bunch of belts, so why not? This thing uh, will resupply uh, the uh, belt as necessary, which means that every single machine should be getting all the resources that they need in order to uh, properly function. All of this is very beautiful, my friends, and uh, we are starting to produce belts at a good pace now. Uh, but uh, all of that is only to support our massive industrial area that we are going to build over here. Uh, so how about we get started? Um, at first, this uh, small industrial area over here will have to supply us with the wood that we are going to need, but I think we, uh, we should create a dedicated area uh, for uh, lumber production, given that we are going to need a lot of it in the industrial area, I mean. Uh, not only to create the rails, the planks, and all of that, so... Dedicated forestry area, probably necessary. Uh, also, we should think about where we want our things to be. Um, because we are going to need a port uh, to deliver the resources via boat. Uh, this bay area over here is looking mighty delicious uh, for that purpose. Uh, and uh, this area over here, this green land, is looking really nice for uh, lumber production. We don't need a lot of space for lumber, so I figured that we could use like this small space over here, right? Uh, that way we are, are also going to encompass this uh, stone mining, which we could even do the processing on this area. So uh, we could confine both of those resources in this small area and then transport those resources into our industrial area, which should be somewhere around here. Um, that is still to be determined, of course. So uh, lumber area first. So it all starts with a couple of foresters. Uh, in our current uh, area, we have uh, only one. In here, we are going to have three. Uh, we are going to use the trees that we have available to us, uh, and uh, the other ones we'll destroy, and uh, we are also going to plant uh, more trees. But for now, let's burn those resources. And uh, just one tile further, please. Cool. Uh, now we shoot everything. Now we probably will want to do something like this, uh, for future sa uh, sake, of course. Uh, no, no, please. Not that. There we go. I'm pretty sure the uh, lumber would get confused if we let that uh, sit over there. For now, let's just do this. There we go. Now, this stone over here is getting a little bit in our way. We are going to destroy a few nodes, just these nodes over here, and we are going to keep the other ones. Uh, it's t it, it pains me to destroy uh, stone resources, but... Uh, well, for all intents and purposes, there is a bunch below us, so... Uh, game, please forgive me for doing this uh, crime, but I really need this space. In any case, now we are going to create a bunch of lumber mills. Six of them, to be precise, and then we supply them with wood, like this. Uh, let's... Let's rotate the camera in the correct orientation, and then like this, right? For these ones, we are going to bring the wood uh, from the, th the uh, third uh, floor, right? And here we go. So six lumber mills being um, supplied with wood, which is just fantastic. In fact, why not do more? Why stop at six? Let's do nine. Let's do nine. I think nine is a far better number. Oh yeah, nine lumber mills. We are going to be producing so much, so much wood. It's not going to be funny. Uh, maybe we should not burn all of these resources in the same place. I don't know, that sounds like a bad idea for me. But uh, I don't know, I will have to see what I can come up with. Uh, after all, we have a bunch of uh, belts that we have to lay down. So um, uh, that is going to be complicated uh, by it, on it by itself. Uh, the process of laying all of those belts is going to be complicated. But in any case, in any case, let's uh, try to do that now. Well, not that complicated, but to be honest. And uh, it's not that bad looking either, so uh, pretty cool. Of course that we have to improve the workers that we have over here to have full production, but uh, we are in the build, lay the build um, placement uh, phase now. 
Uh, but the cool thing is... Whoa, I didn't uh, want to do that. But okay. The cool thing about this is that now that we have all these resources centralized, we can either use a train or caravans for transportation to our industrial area. And uh, it's going to be much simpler just having a road or a track uh, instead of multiple, if we had multiple barns, right? Uh, cool, so uh, this part is done. Let's take care of the uh, mining part next. Alright, in this area all we need is two mines to cover this entire thing, and then we are going to do a similar process to what we did over here, but uh, with uh, masonry? Mason... thing? It's too far away for me to go see. Uh, it... It's the stonemason. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. And here we go, my friends. Uh, we have the same for the uh, stonemasons now. We only have six of them, not nine. Let's not go overboard. Besides, this trading post is in the way, so... Uh, whatever. Now, my friends, I discovered something pretty nice. You can actually control C and then control V recipes. As you can see, even though the recipe is already set, you can see the... Um, uh, visual effect, so uh, that's a quick way to set uh, recipes. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Alright, my friends, so when it comes to basic resources, we are completely set. We have the wood and the stone being produced at a good pace, which is great. And I already have the uh, road uh, ready for the future caravans, right? Um, pretty sure this cover all of our needs. If totally necessary, I don't think we are going to need to access this barn over here, which I'm going to upgrade to the maximum because this is wood thingies. This one should also be upgraded to the maximum, and this one also to the maximum. And maybe you as well, why not? Well, we have the resources before we spend them all. Uh, <laughs> when, when my purse is full, I just go on a spending spree until I have nothing, so uh, let's do that while I still have the, uh, the resources. Uh, but uh, in any case... In any case, um, we can now have access with caravans to these resources. The caravans will then transport the resources to a central hub, which we are going to have somewhere around here, so that we can unload both from water, train stations and caravans as well. Uh, in fact, I can even pull the road this way. I'll see, we'll see. Uh, nothing is set in stone. Except for this one, of course. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, time to go into our research tree. Oh yeah, this thing. Damn. Uh, ooh, pff. that kind of sucks. In any case, uh, let's go for the steam locomotive. And then let's go for the rail freight carts. We can even get the other carts as well. Uh, no? Uh, okay, maybe we get all the carts in one go. Let's just take a look, not in research uh, menu. In the workers... It's not in workers. Well, the, we can make regular boats for now. Oh no, it's rail, rail carts, that's right. Dum dum. Uh, steam locomotive. Mm, oh, this is so beautiful to see. I'm going to have a lot of fun next episode, my friends. A lot of fun. Uh, the tank cart is for liquids, the upper is for ores, and the box cart is for regular stuff. You can pretty much, like, uh, they all take the same amount. I'm if I recall correctly, things might, might have changed. But all of them take the uh, same amount of stuff, they just cost different uh, thingies, right? In my opinion, the box cart is the uh, cheapest. But we are going to uh, test at least the upper cart and the box cart next episode, definitely. Uh, but uh, before I drool myself over our newly found tech, let me just start working on that um, supply hub that we are going to have.
my friends, our supply hub is almost complete. Uh, I mean, we still need to see what kind of stuff we are going to get in order to expand it properly, but as a base is ready to go. We have uh, uh, 8, 12 lines ready to receive stuff from the outside. We can replace these uh, conveyors by shoots if, uh, the, stuff, if the item is shootable. Uh, because um, shoots are equivalent to metal conveyor belts in speed. A little, not as fast, but uh, equivalent, let's just say. So if we want to save on metal conveyor belts, we can always use shoots. Uh, also, we also still need to, uh, of course, connect uh, the trains and all of that. But um, yeah, we are kind of ready to go. So, now that we have boats, even though they are not the cargo boats that we wanted, let's take a look. How much stuff can you carry? 10 items? Ah, kind of sucks. It it's 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 not good, okay? Uh out of curiosity. Lab. What do we need for this? Fish oil? And remedy. Okay, okay. I think the other ones are easier to make, okay? <laughs> oh no, we can make Oh, that that that's the level 2 ones. Oh. Level 1. Herbs and okay, this is ultra simple. Ultra simple stuff. Uh, all we need to do is find some basic herbs and we'll be we'll have this research done in no time. All right, my friends. So, in order to get those research uh, thing is going we are going to do this as a temporary measure uh, very temporary we'll uh, automate this later but for now we absolutely need it uh, you are going to filter books please okay uh, and then we are going to build a farm over there uh, yeah in fact you can even yeah you can even go like that okay. don't care too much and uh, then we shoot those things over the river into that um, laboratory over there. One, two, three. And uh, we want to shoot that, let's say, over here. One, two, three. Shoot that over there and then drop it below. And bring it uh, all the way over there. We select the herbs over there. And get them good herbs going, my friends. Pretty sure everybody in town is going to enjoy those um, nearly found uh, resources from the planet in the form of knowledge, of course. Uh, but in any case, now we just uh, output this uh, this way. One, two, three. Then one, two, three. And belt. Bam. We are uh, done with that. Okay, my friends, so in order for us to finish this episode, let's uh, give uh, future me some uh, good things, right? Let's finish off our train station right here, right? Uh, if I recall correctly, steam locomotives require fuel and um, water to run. Uh, the water is simple, a well will suffice, uh, but the fuel, uh, that's a tad bit more complicated. Now, let's go in, not into the research, into the build menu, rail carts, uh, not that. Uh, I don't recall correctly where they are, but there is uh, these things, the rails and loaders and stuff like that. I need to find them, give me a second. Here they are, the rail loaders and the rail unloaders, and uh, you need these things, the rail loaders, to uh, force fuel into the train. Right, so uh, let's say... Let's collect this. We need two of these, right? One for water, one for um, fuel. Uh, I don't. I don't. Uh, maybe this is this is going to work. Maybe that's a, a a very big maybe. But for the fuel, I like to go like this: silos, right? And then you need a supply line for them. So uh, we go like this, one, two, three, one, two, three, and something like this, right? This way we uh, supply fuel to all the silos and the silos will force the fuel into the trains. We just need to bring some fuel uh, over here now. Uh, we have some coal over there. Hmm. Usually coal um, 
stuff like the coal, the uh, iron and stuff like that. I, I like to bring like via boat, um, but maybe this time I'm going to bring it via train, I don't know. I really need to think about it, uh, especially um, because usually I like to also uh, shoot stuff nearby, like for example this coal, I'm not going to, uh, you know, bring a train over here only to bring it over there, we can just bring a, a, a chute and that's uh, all that we need. So um, yeah, maybe future me is going to think about it a little bit better as we build the world, uh, not the world, the um, industrial area uh, around this. So I think that this time, just to make things simple, I'm just going to put a mine over there and I'm going to shoot it over into this silo and that's going to be it. Pretty sure that... Uh, ugh. Uh, that's... Oh, what was I expecting, I suppose. Uh, do you need one of these? Oh, okay, okay. Let me fix this. There we go. Much, much better. This one mine will be able to provide all the coal that we are going to need for our trains, but I'm probably going to uh, upgrade this uh, in the future. It is just so that uh, I don't have to concern myself too much with it. But as you can see, this area is ready for our massive forge. So my friends, I think I'm going to leave that for future me to deal, uh, as this episode is already long enough. So, with all of that said, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode and that you are enjoying the series so far. If you are, please consider subscribing and help the channel grow. But in the meantime, this is the base manager signing out. Bye bye.